Hello everybody, welcome back to Lost Sphere, and in this one we are going to be continuing on our way to uh, gathering more moon memories. Don't quite know how many more we need to collect, hopefully we get quite close to it. Uh, did do a few things in the interim, but I can't actually remember what we did now. I know when I collected the, uh, the memory that was on that lone island to the south. That was about it, I think. Nothing particularly, uh, particularly impressive. Um, at some point soon, I am going to have to do a little bit of leveling and some experimentation with the Volca suits. Particularly when now we're getting these upgrades for them from the pillars. Uh, but here is going to be our next acquisition. Sickle Moon Memory Shakes. Half Moon Memory. Alright, I see. So we're turning it into a full moon. Gotcha. I still don't think it's enough. The tower that we were at at the beginning of the game. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we have a random a random thoughts to where we need to go. I'm going to try the uh, where the tower was, near Elgoth. Pretty sure that looked out over something. If not, they will have to just simply search around. There is, of course, the lookout that we had from the ship sink. And I don't mind doing a run of that, because we'll probably get a level out of doing that. So we'll certainly go and try that if that's not the case. And I know I could skip to where it is, but I'd much prefer to have you guys along for the ride, so... Let's take a look. Because this does look in that direction, look. Let's take a peek. Hello, to that. Um, it would be particularly useful to do this. Oh, I didn't realise we had enemies here. Whoa. This is going to be easy. Oh man, that's so good. Wow, okay. Do not have to strike there. Probably should have said as well. Um, we set up a few towers whilst I was uh, having an exploration. And uh, yeah, so now basically when a battle starts, I cause damage. And it does actually cause damage in between that as well. So weaker enemies is just going to uh, kill, apparently. Not really useful around here. To be uh, to gain these tiny amounts of XP, but uh, that is quite handy. Make sure that um, we can kill rounds of enemies in one shot with the momentum modes. And it would seem it counts as a momentum attack as well, being as um, the 256, well, the 250 VP went up to 256. So we're going to try the chip sink now. Uh, particularly we had Obaro with us when we were actually up there as well. I'm trying to think of what else looks in that direction. In fact, no, maybe that doesn't because I was kind of looking over here. Let's give it a go. Worst case scenario, we get some levels. We could just try talking to him as well. Okay, that could also be um, the Pyramids of the South, so we'll check that after this. Let's just enjoy a little bit of levelling here. And continuing to uh, develop our Sprit Knights. Dead courses. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's ghosts here now. That's new. Cyclonius. 
Yeah, I don't remember being here last time. Remember over there, we need to grab things like that. Well, that's the other advantage doing this. We do actually need to get um, some extra memories in stock. For both Split Knights and Towers. Hello. Ah. Go on then. So that take me to... Ah, C66 is the computer in. That's kind of handy. I like that. These ghosts are new. I don't know where they've come from. Not that it's an issue. <laughs> oh, those heels, lovely. Da, 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 da. Level up. It's quite quick to get in here. I actually think maybe they did that on purpose. So no, there isn't a view of the moon here. As awesome as this view is. So somewhere linked to Abaro. The only place I can think of is the pyramid, but I don't think there was anything there to look at the moon from. Let's get the primitive strike on this. This place isn't quite sufficient for me to level in right now. I guess Solni, not Solni, the place near Solni would be uh, more adequate if I was going to level somewhere. <laughs> Doom. Okay, to our fishermen again. We just have to toss the boat, right? Here we go. Let's get these. I mean, I suppose the ghosts are probably dropping some different memories for me, should be handy. Lock is pretty cool. <laughs> that 300 damage at the beginning of a fight is pretty cool, really. Put him down. There we go. It works for me. Let's record our VP2, which is also pretty cool. Okay. So, the only place I can think of then that's linked to a borrow is the pyramid. We're just going to see how that's going to give us a sight of the moon. What else could there be? So the place is like to be in ruins. So it's obviously not that. <clears throat> well, I try the pyramid. That's what my uh my gut is telling me. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Full new memory. <laughs> Let's go. We got what we needed. I suppose we could enter that. Mm, I don't know if anything will have changed. Let's get, let's do it. Let's let's see what see what happens. Maybe it'll give me some memories that I've uh, run low on as well. Because this place probably has its own unique memories, like every place does. So I may well do some kind of world tour of all the dungeons at some point and clear them all once more. Special one's one of those there. Need that. Wow. Nineteen K. It's probably because I've got that pillar, um, the artifact with the bob on it, so it'll increase their uh, the encounter rate of them. A great way to up the XP. These guys seem to be a higher level than we were last year, considering these guys aren't insta dying. There's another one already, wow. That's just gonna die. Poop. Gives him platinum more. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully it gives us a good amount of money as well. I'm gonna make sure we're uh, quite well off. Just the one. I do so love that free damage. It's not the most, but we can build two more of them to increase that. If that becomes 300, that's awesome. <laughs> It'll be incredibly useful against some of these tougher enemies. Right, I think that's enough for now. Um... Seems like there's not much else to uh, to care about in here. Obviously, if we can use one of those towers that raises the, uh, the level of the enemies, if we wish to gain more XP while we do this, while we do this, and I may well do that as I uh, give each dungeon a singular clear through again. All right, let's go and uh, restore the moon pillar. No, holy pillar. That's what I'm talking about, isn't it? Moon holy, same thing. And it was this way. Yeah, there is. Restore lofty thing. Restore the Holy Spirit Knight column. Let's do it. <laughs> cool artifact list added expanded cool calling out to me cat are you okay fine fine I'm okay <laughs> Had us worried. Don't play the tough guy now. I feel power flowing through every fiber of my being. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> 
Really? Okay, let's give this a go. Time for the Graxia Restoration Project. I'm sure this is going to make uh, Crum angry. Oh, we have a thing here. What can we put in? Oddity, attack power is boosted against it. No. Extra damage target resistance. That attack type is high. Ooh. That's quite nice. Uh, the more attack types an attack has. No. Increases momentum charge when attacking a target. No. I don't like the situation or stuff. I like, to keep, I like things that are more generalised. Battle begins as a preemptive encounter. What? Okay, that's definitely good for... Uh... Well, if that's every battle, that's amazing. That means we always get the first attack. Let's see what we've got. Uh, black Luck. When a debuff attack fails to inflict its debuff, attack power is increased. HP and PvP went so no. I mean, it's handy, but I don't really need it. Uh, my favorite is twice, no. So we're still missing some of the memories, so some of these still can't be built. Grief mill, damage return, bike and out. Uh, we don't really need that one now. I, c I probably should go and change that one to something more useful later on. Causality I can now do. Landing critical hit increases all allies ATP gauge, yes. Considering we have kind of a crit thing going on. Down with that. Been wanting to put that on for ages. I don't even know where I've got the scenic memory from. Boom! Achievements are popping like candy as well. We can take a save here, don't have to redo any of this. Oh, thanks for all the food. Lovely jabbly. Ooh. Any good meals I can get from you? Probably not. I've never had all the ingredients for any of them. So, I guess first things first, let's explore Graxia. Or Graxia. Ooh. Immediately. The first thing we need to check. Damage up, damage up, damage up. Damage down. There's not actually weapons for everybody here. Interesting. Well, we'll definitely get yours. Definitely get yours, definitely get yours, definitely get yours. Not yours. Okay. Gore vests. Okay, so we need at least four of those. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nearly all of the different types, okay. I don't actually own all of the different types. I definitely need to uh, attempt to have four of each. 
Oh, we can't yet. Wow, that's expensive to get all that. Let's take it down so that we end up on four of each. So I don't need those. I need one of them. I already have three. There we go. That means when the time is right, I can fully upgrade any weapon. Definitely going to pump those. I definitely need more of those. Damn, spent everything. <laughs> right, selling. We have that only fit for selling, that's only fit for selling, that's only fit for selling, only fit for selling. Oh, there's a temptation to sell all this. Oh, let's just do it. Red Sprit Knight. Keep that. Only fit for selling. Only fit for selling. So that seems like it's just for the cash as well. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those. Gold ore. Worth a lot when it's changed. Guess that's what it was for. Only fit for selling. See, I don't know if that's for somebody, but we're continually getting them, so... Let's put those in. Wow, I'm on a lot of cash right now. Uh, anything for selling. Anything for selling. Some silver ore. Wee grass. Anything for selling. Blue sprit knight, brown sprit knight. Keep all that. Mislaid purse. Okay, we'll keep hold of that. That was like a key item for a quest. Pengy Rock, they can go. Pink Sprint I keep. Beat up Tome. Well. <laughs> Suddenly I'm uh, quite well off. Let's get all of our equipment on. We can sell some items then as well that we don't need. I think you got a new one. Executor. Peacemaker. Oh yeah, that's a nice boost. I love how his weapon's called the Z-Sword. Symphony Bow. Right, and we also need those gore vests on. Instant death resistance, lovely. Uh, you're in the party, you're in the party, and you're in the party. Good. Let's get these guys all in the best they have. Gore vest. Wait, gore vest, gore vest, gore vest, gore vest. Oh, I already had one. Good. Night mail, exotic vest. And exotic vest. There we go. Right. So that should, in theory, mean. Is we can just sell all of this as well. So let's get rid of all that. Tidy up my inventory somewhat. I guess this is how we get rich, right? I wonder why it lists all these separately. Is there? Oh, it's because you can upgrade them, of course. Keeps for at night. There's not really that that I want to sell. At all. Cool. So there's anything else that I want to buy. Yep. <laughs> Ooh! Expressions. Should have gone for those, never mind. But I guess with... Um, I don't need 150 of that. I definitely would like to have a good amount of those, though. Exit, that's lovely. Nah, standard leathers have been fine for me. Particularly with Locke able to uh, do cool things with them. Full heal, that would also be nice. No, it doesn't have any of those. Okay. I would actually pay a lot of money for those as well. Um, Phoenix Tears, we probably should stock upon those just in case. What we're fine for. 
Snacky. Heroes or debuffs? Ooh. Damn. He's going to go for all that money. <laughs> Medical kit. Going to be used at the same point. Nah, I don't need those then, really. Cool. Well, that's somewhat of an upgrade, anyway. Let's take a look at if we can get any extra sprint on it. Look for ones I don't have really because they're new skills, aren't they? Ectalon, promise memory. Unleash concentrate stream of magic to damage all enemies with all magic types. What? <laughs> wow. Ooh, we've got shining. Launch an all reaching blinding flare. No enemy escapes its holy type damage. All allies are healed. Ooh, yes. Epic crack. Try and attack target with your bits for all time damage. Spend one bit to inflict debuff. Energize. That failed to increase max bits and create four bits. Ooh, that's nice and quick for stuff, isn't it? Uh, na -na 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 -na. Phase glint. Venom. Exhale, who gets that? Oh, she turns into a bit more of a healer with all this. Preserve. That's pretty cool. Resurrect. That's pretty good. Okay, suddenly she has some pretty good powers then. That'll do for now though. I guess I should probably look at some more uh, of these. So, you got to have three charges for these to activate. Look, two charges for most of them. If some of them were one charge, it wouldn't be so bad. But I don't like any of those. Um, no, 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 no. I think the best ones are at the bottom. Rooster boost, that I've not seen that before. I took mental mode to add rooster to attack. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Death. See, I don't know what enemy immunity is going to be like in this game, otherwise, I'd try some of these out. Mental mode to extend active period of buff. That's using skill. Ooh. To extend active period of buff. If that works on Guardian, that'll be amazing on Kanata. To follow up allies next magical attack after using a skill. To follow up allies next magical attack. So that, in theory, then allows us to deal loads more damage. Let's get some of that on. Wrath. Activate momentum mood to follow up allies next physical attack. That's the same kind of thing. So we love some of that. Uh, suits are activate me. We've got malediction which we don't have any of. Am I using the rock face memory? No. Uh, we've got activate momentum mode to ignore some of the target's defense. No, that's not going to too much. Prescient. Magic defense. It's only for a turn by the look of it now. To completely fill all allies. MC. Momentum charge. Ooh. That sounds very good. Activate momentum mode to completely fill the momentum charge along with skill effect. Is that recyclable momentum charges? Okay, get a couple of those on. I'm going to have to test that out. Activate momentum mode to fill. 
half. That's how much I actually reduce. Call on timer for all skills by one. That's lovely. Any <laughs> more memories? We need some of those. I turn mental mode to fill half the ACB charge. Let's use this skill. Right, there's a lot of stuff to have process in here. I'm going to save this for another episode. But that's going to be for hours. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So continuing on with exploring uh, Grexia, which clearly has lots of treasures for us to be considering. Let's make sure we don't miss anything around here. Castle to the north. That's where it wants me to go, but for now I'm going to have a look around. There's got to be some goodies in here, right? There's one already. 5k, lovely. Needed that. I thought I spent all my money. Not any obvious in here, other than whatever that is. Yeah, of course, we're running with royalty right now. We've got in here. Nothing interesting, okay. Kind of expecting there to be some uh, purple like memories around here somewhere. Hello. These are usually weapons, hopefully this is something good. Four medium others, I guess that's kinda good. Better than a kick in the teeth, I suppose. Right, that appears to be everything available. Okay, let's continue north then. Your Highness, the pressure will do me good. Beloved prince type. <laughs> Van as cool as ever. Hilarious. Is this the castle? Okay. So you think? Thematic is rather different. Seems stronger somehow. To the throne room.
Don't have any other option. It's the only way to stop Crom's evil plan. Wow. Say Seeker of Truth, take the time of ten trial. Oh, there's been a mystery to the Royal Archivists. Okay. Hmm. Even if a curse or disaster. Hmm. <laughs> That's the man you are today. Entrance to Royal Archives. I know those accompanied by one of our royal lineage can enter the innermost archives. Now I'll be careful, my son. Okay. We have the royal key. Alright, so. Let's find the entrance to this archive. We'll have a quick exploration of the palace. And that'll be the end of this episode. We'll have explored Grazia. Had a quick look at some of the new stuff we could get. Um... I'm probably going to wait until after the dungeon before we actually get all the cool stuff, which is probably not wise, but uh, in the interest of keeping this video not too long, that is the way we're going to do this. It would appear this is the direction we need to go in. Maybe you have to take ten trials. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Let's move. Okay, so I can only assume we're going to end up fighting in here. Uh, I'm going to call the episode at this point, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.